honey to me when your eyes look into mine. Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those keepers? Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those eyes? Gosh, y'all get up, how'd they get so lit up? Gosh, y'all get up, how'd they get that size? Golly gee, when you turn those heaters on, Jeepers Creepers, the classic monster film directed by Victor Selva, starring Justin Long, Gina Phillips, Patricia Belchler, and Jonathan Brick as the Creeper. The film was released in 2001 and is the story about two siblings, a brother and sister. The film opens up to our two main characters on a road trip to visit their mother. Unfortunately, they don't reach their destination due to eerie events as if out of a nightmare. The film has a very old school vibe to it. With a very simple story, but it doesn't make it any less horrifying. These two brothers and sisters seek desperately for help to escape the clutches of death, but the creepers close behind them, following behind their footsteps, drenched in fear. Justin Long and Gina Phillips have really good chemistry together, as they are both really talented. The creeper itself is pretty similar to Stephen King's character It, now that they can both smell fear and eat people. And Pennywise lives in the town of Derry, which is one of the main characters named in Jeepers Creepers. So the Creeper could have very well been inspired by Pennywise. The Creeper's lair is the most disturbing part of the film. Even though up close, the corpses look kind of fake. As far as the costume design for the Creeper, along with the actor inside of it, that's pretty horrifying and creative. demon basically is pretty creepy and um not knowing what it is but creeper is a mute it'll make noises and sounds like <laughs> but um originally uh he was going to speak um there's a deleted scene here She don't smell too good. There he is. That's kind of creepy, honestly. Um, but I think not having the character speak is was a better choice. It made a sequel, honestly, but it got one of course because it was successful. And then, but the se the sequel, um, it was entertaining. Um, I think that. Creeper for a little too much. I think it would be nice to see him in his truck again. Um, and to have great little uh, situations where they'd walk up on the creeper and let him just like swoop down. You know, it's kind of like a quick encounter. Because the third one is horrible. No one likes that one. And I don't either. It's like, just, it makes, it makes little sense. And the, the whole truck thing is stupid with that bolt. Mario Balls, Mario Kart, things <laughs> falling out of it. But I think in this film he's a lot creepier looking because he, he's uh, drier looking. Like in the second one, he's more wet looking, kind of like. And then with this one, it looks just creepier because it's like you can't really make out his face or facial muscle expressions as much. His face is even more creepy. One thing that really was surprising to me at the end of the movie is that I actually felt for Derry because I didn't want him to like get killed because I actually did like his character as far as you know the way just long portrayed him and it, for some reason it was kind of like you know like that kind of sucks honestly which is rare for a horror character I usually care less um, unless it's an animal like a dog or something. But, um, yeah. So that's my review for Jeepers Creepers.